trade with China has been crucial to Peru's stellar growth over two decades. From 1995 to 2023, Peruvian exports to China increased by more than 40 times, from $363 million to $17.7 billion. Peru has held the rolling presidency of the Asia-Pacific Regional Economic Forum twice before, but the third occasion could not come at a better time. Peru's finance minister, Alex Contreras, announced last month that the economy is in recession. Growth in the country, once considered the star in Latin America, has stagnated for more than two quarters. China is South America's top trading partner and Peru is no exception. The Asian giant has also been a major source of foreign direct investment for the country. Its demand for raw materials from copper-rich Peru has powered GDP growth since the early 2000s. Now the construction of a new Pacific port in Chiang Kai, just north of Peru's coastal capital, could revitalize bilateral trade. APEC is a great opportunity for us to show that from the Peruvian Chinese investment sector, we are ready to attract companies from around the world. The port is a private venture between Chinese state-owned conglomerate Costco Shipping Ports Limited with 60% of its stake and the Peruvian mining company Vulcan with 40%. A huge initial investment of $3.6 billion is being made into the Costco megaport, which will form part of China's Belt and Road Initiative. Rosario Santa Gadea, director with the Center for China and Asia Pacific Studies at Lima's Pacific University, says the port would reconnect Peru with global value chains. If we can uh, design and implement a trans-Pacific economic corridor between Peru and China based on Chiang and the special economic zone uh, um, uh, related to that uh, port, then we will move in the right direction. A special economic zone is also planned to include an industrial park around the port to take advantage of China's huge marketplace. Dan Collins, CGTN, Lima.